The business is run by siblings Stephanie and Michael Bruce, and it was Stephanie's own personal struggle with insomnia that inspired the creation of this device. For those who are not familiar with the term breathwork, can you just explain what it is? Breathwork is um, the act of changing your breathing rate, upregulating or downregulating it, uh, which causes or changes uh, physiological effects in your body. And you change a physiological parameter, your breathing, and this changes your body and how it, how it, how it yeah, reacts to that. So if you, for instance, decrease your breathing rate, uh, you will also lower your heart rate, you will lower your blood pressure, and you will have a change in your um, uh, nervous system. You will downregulate your nervous system, for instance. That's why I sometimes call the, the breath as the remote control of the nervous system, because by changing your breathing, you can really change how you feel, how you live, how you sleep. Um, it, it's such, it has such an amazing and a tremendous effect on our body. It's an interesting looking device. I'm curious to see how it works. So just talk us through how to use one. So you can connect Moonbird with an app, then you can select a session and um, you can select one for sleep, for um, uh, anxiety, for stress. And then when you um, start the exercise, during the exercise, you can see how your heart rate starts to change. And then you can follow and you can really see whether you're uh, relaxed or not and whether you're doing the exercises correctly. So should we do a session? Yes. So you can hold the moonbird in your hand. When it expands you breathe in and when it contracts you breathe out and you just follow and mimic this rhythm with your breathing. You can breathe as much as possible through your nose. It might be a bit slow at first because the pace is set now at six breaths per minute, which is a third lower of what you normally breathe. But at this rate, it's scientifically proven that you will decrease your stress levels, you will activate your parasympathetic nervous system the most. After successfully launching the device to market, Stephanie and Michael are focused on running trials and research, which will help them to further grow the business. We are doing a lot of um, user tests and, and user feedback sessions, uh, co-creation sessions. Um, we, and especially Stephanie, is very involved in um, questioning our uh, end user or what they want as a additional features or additional products. Uh, so we gather a lot of information from our clients and uh, end users. Currently Moonbird is classified as a consumer device, but you do have ambitions for this to become a certified medical device. Why is this so important? So we're collecting evidence, uh, you could say, as we go. So as we grow as a company, we're setting up scientific research studies, in particular use cases that we focus on. Uh, that could allow us to eventually uh, expand the intended use of our uh, product and then apply indeed for medical certification. That is important for us because we are uh, now in the business of, of solving stress, which is not a medical uh, disease or a disease as, as such. Um, but if we want to really target, for instance, insomnia or potentially asthma over time and so on, then we indeed need to get these certifications and back this up by the uh, clinical evidence. GPs, doctors can sometimes prescribe tablets for an ongoing problem such as insomnia yes. or anxiety. Do you see the device replacing the need for medication? That would be uh, indeed, uh, I think, a very healthy way of looking at uh, healthcare uh, because breathwork is such a uh, natural and effective solution. So uh, we are much in favour indeed of offering this first as an option to patients and obviously medication has its role to play to help people suffering from certain diseases. So I think it always has to be weighed against the situation and uh, the person in front of you. But that's something that we would like to see in the future, yes. How would becoming a certified medical device change the business model? It would allow us to open up the market much more. Uh, we now target um, the end consumers directly and we work together with coaches, psychologists and therapists. But it would also allow us to work together with hospitals, clinicians, much more than we're doing now already. You could say that we're sort of like collecting evidence as we go and this would convince the doctors and the more clinical side as well to work, work much more with Moonbird. Do you hope to disrupt Big Pharma, take market share from the pharmaceutical giants? Well, I certainly hope we will. Um, I see um, Moonbird playing an important role in the clinical pathway of patients, so I do think that there is a potential to do so. Um, but maybe we can even partner with them and see and look at the whole clinical pathway of patients and then look at a comprehensive approach and see where Moonbird fits in. 
how do you get to that point? How do you start moving from the wellness segment, which is one area, one growth area, to very well established but much larger area of the market being the medical area? That's a good question. Um, and that's exactly what we're doing by doing all the research studies and collecting the evidence as we go in order to make sure that there's a sound and solid basis of research backing our device up. And that would allow us to shift from the wellness industry to the more medical industry where we can make the right medical claims that support our device. Research is crucial to the business, but it's also costly and it eats into margins. So how do you think about research? We build a business model on uh, marketing a product uh, directly to consumers at first and from the moment that we are generating cash we could take that cash and invest, invest that into R&D and, and, and research to strengthen our market position to um, build a better case for specific use cases. Investors usually don't like to put a lot of uh, money into um, uncertain research or, or long-term research, uh, but we have uh, found a very good balance uh, between uh, return on our R&D efforts, or basically quite speedily return on our R&D uh, efforts, and at the same time being in the market, selling products and having revenue from the, the sales of those products. So you've sold 16,000 devices. Where do you intend to go with the business model from here? How many more devices can you sell? Our ambition for this year is to quadruple our sales of last year. Um, and we want to go along that route, the, 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 the year is coming as well. Um, but we also want to add other products and services to our portfolio so we can offer much more to our cus current customers. Can I probe them? What's next for the product portfolio? <laughs> so um, adding more products to the portfolio, um, Developing um, more products that are focused on niche target customers, for instance, is, some, is an idea that we have. Uh, but I don't want to go into much detail, but indeed we have lots of ideas. And it's, it's a matter of now prioritizing them and seeing what we're going to do next. But we have uh, lots of interesting and cool ideas that we see that our customers need and want. And we're actively working on new products uh, on that side. Yeah. Those who've looked into sleep know that it's not just about falling asleep, it's about staying asleep and the quality of sleep. What's the data telling you about Moonbird and the quality of sleep it can deliver? In the research study that we've done with people suffering from insomnia, we asked them about their sleep latency and the quality of their sleep. And it results from this study that uh, on average people um, improve their sleep quality by 40%. And from first more objective results uh, from people wearing wearables, we also saw that their sleep quality indeed improved. But we're now setting up a new research study that will exactly examine this. Let's talk about the future. What's your hope for Moonbird in five years time? We want to be known as the breathwork company that has made people aware of the fact that they can use their own breath or breathing as a tool to improve their mental and their physical health. And if we would succeed in doing that, just generating that awareness and be able to offer a wide range of products and services that will guide people to use their breath, that would be amazing. That's really my ambition and what we strive, uh, what we strive to accomplish. Stephanie, Michael, thank you for speaking to CNBC. You're welcome, thank you.